Wait. That was actually good? My name is Jonathan from Stubmasters, and today I'm reviewing Hercules. Now, I think I can speak for most of the sane population of the world that when the trailer came out for this movie, it looked horrible. Like, I was laughing. My, my brother and I were sitting um, next to each other, and after the trailer ended, I'm like, well, uh, that's going to happen. But I am very shocked and very happy to say that this is a very enjoyable movie. Okay, so really the only thing that anyone cared about this movie, or at least I cared about, was that there was going to be good action. And is there? Yes. The action scenes are very exhilarating, using a lot of stunt work. Um, and when the CGI is there, it's really good too. It had weight to them too. Hercules wasn't quote unquote invincible, so you actually cared about him. You're like, wow, was he actually going to die here? Or is this person going to die? Is this person going to die? And it really says something when a movie can keep you guessing like that, especially when we're talking about Hercules, which, according to Greek mythology, is practically invincible. But uh, more notably than Hercules himself, which Dwayne Johnson did a very good job portraying Hercules. I thought that his crew in the movie is very good, I'm not going to get into that because that's spoiler territory, but I wasn't expecting that and I thought that they um, made the movie better than if it was just Hercules himself. A lot to say about the performances other than they're all really good, notably Dwayne Johnson did a great job portraying Hercules like I said earlier, and the supporting cast also is great, they're charming, they're funny, and you really care about them. And that makes this movie different than what it could have been. Surprisingly deep plot to it, which I wasn't really expecting. Now, it isn't incredibly deep, like something like The Lord of the Rings, per se, but for this kind of movie, it had an interesting plot that kept me captivated throughout the entire movie. I didn't find myself falling asleep, and on this particular day, I was tired. So, um, it keeps your attention. You really can't say any more without spoiling anything. Only that it is the biggest surprise of the summer, only behind Edge of Tomorrow, because everyone thought this movie was going to suck, and it was actually really, really, really good, delivering exciting action and charming characters that you really don't find in cinema too often nowadays. Um, so I'm going to award Hercules a 3.75 out of 5 stars. The only problem I have with the movie, I thought it had a little bit of a shaky start, um, but besides that, I thought it was um, very, very good, and I'm really looking forward to a sequel that can expand on this universe and possibly make a more grand and uh, more overall epic experience in the future. But as a start-off film, it is very good. I recommend that you check this one out this weekend. Did you like the review? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Make sure to follow us on Twitter. That's going to be on our main channel page. And uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, have an excellent day.